private first class, Shania Geddes is in for a shot. She likes her job as a supply specialist, but for the last few weeks has been acquiring a new set of Army skills to include a TASER certification so that she will be ready for action when the Cobb Spiker detainee facility in Tikrit, Iraq asks for her assistance. We did a lot of on-the-job on the training already, so it's like we work with the detainees and we already learn how to process them and everything like that, so it's like when, I, when it's actually time for me to do it, I feel like I'll be proficient enough to do it. But to be able to gain the TASER certification today, PFC Geddes has to step up and take a mandatory electric taser charge. I felt like if I went first, then everybody would be like, oh, if she can take it, I can take it. Being like, for one, I'm a female, and then two, I'm little. So like, if I can sit there and take it, then everybody else will be like, oh, I can do it too. <laughs> but it isn't as bad as it sounds. It just felt like, uh, like everything just tightened up and you couldn't do anything. You couldn't move your legs or anything. You just had to take all the pain. I wanted to cry, but I didn't. So after this class, Geddes can now step up to duty to protect herself, her fellow soldiers, and the detainees with a non-lethal force. Reporting from Tikrit, Iraq, I'm Specialist Derek Bailey.